Hello, welcome to another video tutorial from Polymath Learning Center. The question is, Mrs. Tan had a jug of milk. She drank 360 ml of the milk for breakfast and one-fifth of the remaining milk in the afternoon. After that, there was half a jug of milk left. How much of the milk did she drink in the afternoon? Alright, so this question, we, we can see that we are dealing with a proportion of the remainder. Whenever we are dealing with proportion, of the remainder, we can always use the branching concept to guide us. Alright, but we will also use the model method just to show you that it can be done and it also helps you reinforce your knowledge about branching and model drawing and you can choose which one you prefer. Alright, so I'll start off with the branching concept. So the total would be an unknown at first. I do not know all right, the volume of the milk in total. All right, but I do know that the 360 ml of milk must have come from the total. All right, then I will label it B for breakfast. Okay, what is the remainder? I do not know. It is still a remainder as, uh, sorry, it is still an unknown also. So I'm going to label it as remainder. Alright, so we are done with the first part. Moving on, you know that Mrs. Tan drank one fifth, one out of five units. Alright, so this five unit must be referring to the remainder. This one unit must be referring to the afternoon. Alright, so the remainder is represented by the denominator 5 units, so we are going to label the remainder as 5 units. And the afternoon portion is 1 unit. Okay, so she, she drank one fifth of the remaining milk in the afternoon. Alright, so this is the afternoon portion. I'm going to label it A. Okay, so what's left if your remainder is 5 units and you drank 1 unit in the afternoon? What you have left ultimately in the end is four units. Okay, I'm gonna label it left. Right, so we are doing until here. So now they give you another proportion. What is left is actually half a jug of milk. Alright, so that means half of the total. So if this is equal to half of the total, I can actually find the total is how many units. I have four units of milk left. And that is half of the total. When we take half multiply by 2, we'll get one whole. Alright, that means we'll get the total number of units. We have 4 units multiplied by 2. 8 units is actually represented by the total. Alright, so the total at first is 8 units. And 5 units is the remainder. So comparing this 8 unit and this 5 unit, there is 3 units missing. Alright, so these three units would be the portion that is drank in the morning. Alright, so now we can establish that three units is equal to 360 ml. One unit is actually 360 ml divided by three, which will give you 120 ml. Alright, so this is one unit. The question asks for how much of the milk did she drink in the afternoon. Her afternoon is just nice one unit. Alright, so therefore, this is the answer really. Okay, 120 ml. She drank 120 ml of milk in the afternoon. Alright, so um, I'm going to draw a model to take you through the steps as well. So if you, are, if you are more used to drawing the model, we have a solution for you as well. Okay, so... We will start off same. Okay, we will the total we at first we do not know how much it is. We're going to draw a bar to represent the total. Then we're going to cut out 360 ml because we know 360 ml is drank in the morning. Okay, because I know that this portion is untouched later on, I can don't draw it outside. Most of the time, if you need to cut the model, I will suggest you to draw the number 360 ml outside all right but it's not uh, it's uh, you you do not need to touch that so you can draw it inside 
all right that gives you more space to draw arrows later on in the question so you have to determine for yourself what is the best uh, best way that suits you okay so the remaining portion uh, would be represented here okay this would be the remaining portion in red this will be the remainder after cutting 360 all right later on they say um, one fifth of the remaining milk is drank in the afternoon. So the remaining shall be cut into five equal portions and one of them is drank in the afternoon. I'll label it A. Okay, for 360 I can label it B. So following the question they say what is left is actually half of the total. So what is left is this four units, right? And that is actually half of the total. If this portion is representing half of the total, then wouldn't the 1 unit and 360 be also half? Okay, so this, this actually also represents 4 units. Okay, so if 4 unit is 360 ml plus this 1 unit, that means 360 ml is equal to 3 units. Alright, you can see that you get the same. 3 unit is 360 ml. So then you later on proceed to solve. Okay, you have the same solution. Just different ways of looking at it. Alright, so the model drawing require more accuracy. So I would suggest using the branching. Alright, but if uh, you have been doing the model drawing and you find it hard to switch, no problem. Just stick with your model drawing. And that's also it's also a very good way of solving it. Alright, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.